Good morning, Omika. How are you doing? Hey, Miss Audrey. Hey, Zanae. Good morning. <clears throat> hey, D Lady, Miss Melissa. The sun is so bright. All right, so I'm a, I just wanted to come on. How's everybody doing? Haven't been on in a while. You stuck in traffic. <laughs> hey, good morning, Kay. So I'm going to just come on real quick. And um, I was sitting in the car and I was trying to do my makeup. Basketball season has started, so you know. Got to get them there early, so I figured, well, I just finished getting ready in the car. So while I was getting ready, um, I was just thinking about some things, and and um, I was like, God, I've been praying about some things, and it just really seems so far out of reach. Like, I'll never be able to get my hands on this particular thing that I've been praying about for so long. Um, uh, Miss Audrey. <laughs> um, and I was just like, it just seems like I'm not gonna get my hands on what I've been praying about. It just seems so far out of reach. Have y'all ever felt like you know you've been praying and praying and praying, and you know, and it just seems like it's not gonna happen? And then I was like, and then I'm just praying about these other areas, and maybe I just need to just you know re refocus, redirect. Good morning, Michelle. And the Holy Spirit just began to just speak and was like, don't quit. You know, and my mind went to Galatians 6 and 9. You know, don't get weary and well-doing for in due season you shall reap your harvest. So I just wanted to come on and encourage someone else because a lot of times when, when I'm feeling something, it's not me all by myself, you know. So, you know, we, we're all, you know, have certain issues that we're praying and asking God to move in and when the enemy begins to tell you you know there's no way that's gonna happen or that's so far out of your reach or that that's just not gonna come to pass or god has you know the enemy will even try to make you think that god has forgotten his promise to you well i just wanted to come and just tell y'all that the devil is a lie you know god's word says you know let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. So if I quit, I'm never going to make it to the place to where I'm trying to get. You know, and then another thing that, that I just noticed even just reading this now is it says at the proper time. So it's not my time yet. It's not time for that thing that God has promised me. It's not time for it to manifest. Hey, Janelle, I miss you. It's not time for what i'm praying for is it's not the, the season for it you know god is in, in ecclesiastics it says there's a season and a time for everything so just because i want this particular thing so bad or i'm praying for people and god is not moving when i say move it says right here in due time in due time you will reap your harvest so it's not my time right now. Good morning, love. It's not time right now. So when the enemy, again, when the enemy comes in and he tells you, you know, you're not, it's not going to happen. You might as well just quit, throw in the towel, move on, refocus, redirect. I'm telling the devil for myself and for you all, the devil is a liar. It's going to happen. It's going to come to pass. Whatever God has promised us it is going to come to pass in due season in due time when it's when it's harvest time you know 
and it, it could be harvest time for some things but not harvest time for that one particular thing or that area that you that you're looking at so don't refocus don't redirect continue to look at the prize go through the process god is going to his his word never fails whatever god says it's it's done but it says at the proper time we will reap our harvest if we don't give up so it's still a condition on whether you're going to reap your harvest or not and that condition here is if you don't give up so just hang in there don't throw in the towel because in due season you will reap your harvest and i truly believe that my season is coming and you know what i even feel like my season is closer than i think your season is closer than you think because of the simple fact that the enemy is wanting me to quit I just said something right there because the enemy wants me to quit that's an indication that my due season the proper time is just right ahead it's not far off as I think it is it's it's almost here anytime the enemy begins to taunt talk against what God has said try to get you to quit try to get you to refocus off of what God has promised you to try to get you to take your eye off of the promise and the prize that's an indication that your due season is almost there it's almost your harvest time it's almost time for you to reap your harvest it's almost that proper time that Galatians 6 and 9 talks about so I just wanted to come on and encourage someone because when I was sitting in the car, that's what I heard the Spirit say, don't quit. And my mind instantly went to Galatians 6 and 9. And I know, you know, we hear it quoted so many times. I'm sitting in the car, I see something running across the parking lot. But I know we, we quote it so many times and some, you know, let me just say this. Don't allow the Word of God to become common, so common to where we're so used to hearing it and we're so used to reciting it that it becomes so common that we don't allow it to really have the power that it really has we we discount what it can do you know yeah this is a familiar familiar passage but his word is still good his word is still the same whatever it says is what it's gonna be so i can recite it without looking at it be not weary in 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 well doing for in due season you shall reap your harvest if you faint not yeah i can recite it but don't let that come common because it still has power it's still is is still the word of god and his the word of god never fails that didn't have nothing to do with nothing so that was the holy spirit don't allow the word of god to become common so you're so used to hearing it you know it's like oh, okay yeah i know that that's what it says that we don't even use the word the way that we're supposed to use it yeah i can recite it so let me let me quote it right now because i need that right now so don't quit don't get tired continue to pray for the for the things that you're praying for god will deliver god will heal he will set free he will save he will make good on every promise that he has spoken even the things that you're asking him for in due season you shall reap your harvest so i just want to end this morning with a prayer and then I'm going to get on out of here and get into the office. I'm early a little bit, but we're going to get on in there. So, Father God, we just thank you for this day, God. We thank you, God, that this is the day that you have made. God, we will rejoice and be glad in it. God, we just thank you for our due season, God. We thank you for the right, the proper time, God. We thank you for our harvest time, God. And we thank you for the word of God that when we become weary, God, we can go back to your word and be reminded not to quit, not to become weary in well-doing, God. 
Lord, when the enemy comes up against us, Lord God, we can use your word and remind ourselves of your promises and what you said, God. And we just thank you that your word is never void, God. Whatever you said, God, it will come to pass, God. So I truly believe that in due season, the people will reap their harvest if they faint not, God. And God, when we just feel like we are faint, God, give us a spiritual drink of water, God, to just help us to press on a little a little longer, God, a little further, God. We thank you, God, for what you're doing in this season, God, and we bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray that someone was blessed by that. Pray for the Patterson family. I sure will. I will definitely add them to my prayer list and lift them up. Any more prayer requests? Okay. Well, I pray that you all have a great... Is today Wednesday? Yeah, today is Wednesday. I'm off because we had that Monday off, so I'm, I'm, I'm running a day behind. But today is Wednesday. You all have a great hump day. You all have a great eve, a great day, a great work day. Oh, awesome. I'm glad she was released. I would definitely pray for her as well. Tell I said hey to Dina. So I'll be praying for the Patterson family and I'll be praying for your mom, Dina. And you all have a great day. I love you guys. And remember, don't quit. Don't get weary. Okay. I got it, Melissa. Don't quit. Don't get weary in your well doing the things that you are praying for. The things that God has promised you. Don't, don't quit too soon. And when the enemy, just remember that when the enemy begins to make you, you know, doubt or want to turn around and go back. That's an indication that you're almost there. Don't quit. Hang on. Hang in there. Keep pressing. Press in. Don't pull out. You all have a great day. I love you all, but most of all, God loves you.